when it comes to the world of the internet, there are these things that I like to categorize as sub communities. And no, not the sub that you're thinking of. No, a sub community is basically a section of a certain platform such as YouTube, Instagram, or TikTok, where these people form a community. Now, an example of that would be TikTok eBoys. These people right here who are so desperately trying to tense that one could say they are most likely going to shit themselves if they don't stop doing this. What the fuck are you doing? Now we're not going to be talking about this vermin right here. Instead, we are going to be talking about goths. Yes, these people right here. A bit of eye makeup, a few piercings, a minor cultural appropriation, and you have indeed got yourself a fresh old goth. <laughs> Oh, uh-oh. <laughs> What's up, fam? I have a bad feeling about this. And to spot these people known as goths, you simply have to go to your local car park. You can see them in the McDonald's car park, the KFC car park, the cinema car park, the pharmacy car park, the fucking old people's home car park. These people basically just have a weird thing for voxel courses and car parks. My life is just a continuous loop of sadness. And look, I'm not judging anyone when it comes to gothic appearances. If you want to do you, that's completely... Wait, actually, no. Sorry, scrap that. I am judging someone. I'm judging this fella. Social repose. Only wear designer. This is why My Chemical Romance Returning has done nothing but terrible for society. And yeah, I, I may be going to one of their concerts in a few months, and I'm not going to deny that. But I'm also not going to deny the fact that their concerts are basically going to be 20,000, 27 year olds clinging on to 2007 whilst they do this. They gonna rip up your head, your aspirations to shred, another cock in the murder machine, they sell out. Stop that. Stop. Stop it. Let's not do that ever again. Thank you. Okay, now Social Repose is basically somebody who you could describe as who used to be relevant in the world of YouTube in around 2015. And a good way to summarize him is basically, he's a bloke that just doesn't know how to keep it in his zippers. I'm so pissed, but I miss him so much still, even though I'm mad. No one hate him. I don't have like um, an off switch for the feeling that I had for him because you know you're with someone for like a year and then you find out something and then in a day all of that changes. Now this is Jacqueline Glenn and from what I've heard she's genuinely a lovely lovely person. I've only had a few interactions with her before but from what I've experienced she's lovely and Social Repose used to date her and he cheated on her multiple times, resulting in that video. So basically, it does only really give me a bit of license, a bit of leeway to just completely laugh at this guy. So, it's been two whole years, kind of on the dot actually, and it's, it's mid-November now. That's, um, for those of you who don't know, I had a pretty big oopsie. Can we please leave the phrase oopsie in 2018? It's not an oopsie! You cheated on your wife with multiple women! Did you just fall into a vagina? Oh, I've made an oopsie, guys! I fell into a vagina yesterday! Sorry, lads, just ruined another woman's life by cheating on them after being with them for a long, long period of time. Oopsie! I did an oopsie, guys! Shut up! It's not an oopsie. It's not an oopsie. This is a human being. You cheated on her. You are a bell end. And now I fully understand that this cheating stuff is old news. I'm aware that he's made videos responding to it, claiming it was a messy breakup and then just quitting YouTube and coming back. And you know, it's basically a textbook manipulator on YouTube. I swear they always do these things. Oopsie, I fell into a vagina, guys. I'm gonna quit YouTube and now I'm back and now I'm making th this. Get it, bitch. Get it, bitch. Please, please just stop. We are further going to take a look at that today, and what we're really going to do in today's video is basically take a little bit of a dabble, a little look, a little gander, a little ponder into this guy's channel, see what he's been up to in the last two years. Apparently he's been doing music like I just showed you, and also videos titled The Truth. I mean, what's the truth? Did you cheat on six other fucking women now? There's a few things that have been weighing on me that I wanted to, I guess, just talk about. Yeah, there are a few things we need to talk about. This. Gucci gay, Gucci gay. Spent the racks on a new chain. 
my bitch love to cocaine. Now I'm a firm believer when it comes to pop punk. I'm a pop punk kid through and through, even though I'm around 52 years old. And uh, yeah, Green Day may be dead. And uh, yeah, half of Warped Tour may possibly be pedophiles. But the street snow, that Blink-182 will forever live on while Social Repose does, does this. And, this. And, and Tom DeLonge goes on about... Inter interdimensional aliens. A machine that plays with time and plays with the fabric of space time. Well, and so we have to kind of educate people one. and say it's possible, it's possible. Yeah, uh, I, I don't know. I, I don't know, just, just move on. Realistically, people, what's worse? Cheating on multiple women whilst you're in committed relationships, relationships all at once, or creating a pop punk cover of Gucci Gang by Lil Pump? I think we all know the answer to that one. My life is just a continuous loop of sadness. There are so many problems and issues I could bring up with this man from the past about all his manipulative actions in his personal life, but to be honest, I think the main reason he needs to be stopped is because he just keeps taking songs from my childhood. My childhood which wasn't particularly good, I know you're making it worse. It's like when Game of Thrones season eight, the finale came out and it just made everything shit. That's what you've done with all the songs I love. Um, if anyone wants my, my My Chemical Romance ticket, just, just let me know in the comment section. If you want it, just let me know. And I know what a few people will say. Oh, it's really creative. What have you ever done that's creative? I'll tell you, Sunshine, Deborah. I'll tell you what I've done that's creative. I made the worst film review, Alvin and the Chipmunks. I feel a bit sick. I... That was mean. In 2017, that is skinny runt, little virgin I never. Do not listen to this man. This man is a runt. We don't even need to acknowledge that guy. But, but... We are going to steer this concept. We're going to steer this concept and do a little music review of Social Repose's latest song. Hey, 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 everybody. I never be Tano here, and it is time for another review of the latest Social Repose, well, latest that came out about four years ago, but the latest Social Repose song, I Cheated on Mike. Island of Yours. Social Repose is a well-known social media star who became known in 2015 and 16 for videos like this, and now he has put his stamp into the music world, and he should most definitely stop. Please, stop making music like this. I call that can't fill the hole. I have stepped into the void and been released into 2007 where there is no grand exchange in RuneScape, the MCU is not a thing, and my parents still loved me. The years have taken their toll. Now listening to this massive song of 2015, I'm really getting the nasally and poetic vibes of a completely unsuccessful music career. Yep, I uh, I don't think anyone asked for this. I, I don't think anyone asked for this, so I'm going to give it a light 0 out of 10, and we're going to just cut it there, because I don't think we need anything else. We don't need this, and we don't need this. Let's leave it there. I never beast Tano out, light 0 out of 10. Never get me to review music again. Thank you very much. Just, just go. Now, while I was doing my research on Social Repose to see what he's been up to in the last two years, I decided to go to the most valuable source of information, YouTube Wiki. If you're doing your university degree, your dissertation, and you need some information, come to YouTube Wikia. It's got, it's got everything you could possibly need. And if Social Repose is, half of it is basically about him cheating on Jacqueline Glenn and saying that he focused less on apologizing because he was worried about how it would affect his YouTube career and upcoming content. Now, big old SJW left wing Inaba has come out to say, if you cheat, that that's not a mistake. Cheating and mistakes are two different things. It's like when you enter a cheat code into a video game. Is that an accident? No, you manually chose to do that. You don't just slip into some big old pussy lips. You choose to do that. It's not a mistake. It's you being scum. That is the ending to this cheating debacle. If you cheat, it's on you, mate. It's on you. And we're gonna finish the old cheating thing there and continue with this music. Popping on next, popping on next. And that's where we move on to where I went to visit a friend to see if he remembers Social Repose. Now this friend is also another YouTuber who you may love or you may completely hate. But either way, we went and interviewed the guy and saw what his thoughts and opinions were on Social Repose. A few moments later. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you? I'm oh, good, how are you, mate? I'm not bad. I'm not bad. But I have a question. Do you remember this man? Is that Onision? Oh, oh, 
I do remember social repose. Why is he eating a cake on my TV? <laughs> so he's uploading a video. It's called Eating an Entire Birthday Cake Alone on My Birthday. <laughs> he's been making music. So I think we should take a seat with Chris Hansen. Oh, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I have a bad feeling about this. Last time I saw him in my kitchen, it was. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Let's take a seat. Let's take okay. a seat. Now, after reintroducing Mr. I'm Alex into the world of social repose, I decided to take an unbiased approach when it came to social repose's music. So I sat Alex down with a laptop and said, "Hello, Mr. Alex. Let's watch some social repose music videos." And uh, that's exactly what we did. And it. Resulted in him going to therapy, but that's exactly what we did. So, we've basically got some, they're pretty old videos, like a year or two old, basically. We've got Lil Pump, Gucci Gang, performed in 10 different genres. Do cocaine, oh yeah! What do you think? I actually could actually... I don't don't say it. We're meant to be roasted in this I can ironically vibe to that. At what point do you always just back on the edit and think, I've lost my marbles? <laughs> but there's more. There's more. But wait! There's more! Esqueda, no pump cover in ten, 10 different genres. Are you taking the piss? <laughs> Can you imagine, in like Woodstock, there's like thousands of people vibing out to this. If people in 1960s saw this, they'd burn him on a stake. <laughs> I've got a bad feeling about this. Which? Which? <laughs> Which? It's a Stranger Things thing. <laughs> it's the over the Stranger Things. Out to the club like, what up, bitch? Got a pen, I'll sit there. Tell you what, he is a Stranger thing. Boom. Roasted. And then there is Post Malone, rock star. Oh, in don't put the post. <laughs> been fucking hoes and dropping pillies, man. I feel just like a rock star. Why would you do this? It's the way he said Rasta. Man. Let's go back. Rasta. Or Rasta man. <laughs> and then we've got Ariana Grande. Thank you next. The oh, form stands will be having on the fucking plate for this. I have a bad feeling about this. Wrote some songs about. Ricky. 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 Now, I listen and laugh. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> Is this a change? <laughs> change? He's got to be taking the piss. Jolly, with a change like that, he must know. He's a beast. A few moments later. How has your experience been? It's made me feel emo. Do you feel inspired to cheat? On your wife. To be fair, after his I love it rendition. Don't say it. Don't say it. I've come to the Fuck off. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm, I'm See sick, you later. I'm a sick fuck who likes a quick <laughs> I'll send you. I'll send <laughs> So I think what we've learned in today's video is that grown 50 year old men should not be making pop punk covers of SoundCloud rappers. Let's leave that in 2012. And that is the ending of the video. And I'll see you in the next one. Let's hit 500k by the ending of February. Please subscribe right now and like the video right now. And I'll see you later. Well, you know, I, I would like to end it there, but sadly, we're not going to. Sadly, I'm going to show you a little bit more of what's been going on with this guy. And I know a lot of people will be disappointed that I've not thoroughly covered the scary stuff, the drama. There is a video on the screen right now by FBF Diesel who covers this pretty thoroughly and pretty well. So if you want to go take a look at that, it's right there. Go watch it. But I do just have to say, with the comparisons to a certain man, I, I don't think they're exactly... Fair. Yeah, he sucks. He really does suck. But at least he's not a 30 year old man who, you know, dates 17 year old girls. Oh, no. He's just a simple bloke who loves a little bit of cultural appropriation and occasionally and accidentally do an oopsie and fall into some big old pussy lips. And he just occasionally makes mistakes. And, uh, no, not, not, the, not the falling into certain things. No, the thing where he made the Eschetta cover. Only wear designer. Eschere. Eschere. Music. It's a wonderful thing. It's a fantastic thing which has entertained humanity over thousands of years. It's a wonderful and experimental thing which truly allows us to express ourselves, but it's dead. It's dead. After this video, Eschere. after things like that, it's dead and we're never going back to it. I'm sorry, 
You can't make me go back to music after this. On X, on X. Now when it comes to Social Repose's professional music career, you'd probably think to yourself, well, he doesn't have one. There is no way in hell this guy has a professional music career. He just uploads it onto SoundCloud and leaves and goes about his day, cheats on six other women and carries on with what he's doing. Well, sadly, sadly that's not true because this man currently is on tour. He has his own music tour featuring places like Denver and Oklahoma and Dundee. And yeah, it's as bad as you can imagine. You know, if there's one thing that I've learned over the years of being a YouTuber, is that people cheering you on and screaming your name means absolutely nothing. Harry Styles could justify the 2001 invasion of Iraq and his fans would say, Oh yeah, 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 we stand." He could say, Oh uh, yeah, you know, I've been thinking about it guys. I just, I just don't believe in women's rights. And his fans would say, yeah, yeah, we stand, Harry Styles. I don't believe in women's rights either. Take them away. That's stan accounts in a nutshell. Not, not all of them. The ones that don't stand me, basically. I have a bad feeling about this. And yes, did I just compare social repose to Harry Styles? Possibly. Is that probably a not good thing to do when it comes to a dislike ratio? Probably. And that's why you should like this video right now. If this video gets 100,000 likes, I will go and uh, maybe, maybe go visit his tour. I mean, it's a long way away, but 100,000 likes is a big goal and I'm never going to hit that. And I never will. So 100,000 likes and I will go to a Social Repose concert. But to conclude this video, Social Repose. Please stop ruining songs from my childhood. I know I'll never see these things again, but Billy Eilish saw one of his covers and I was thinking to myself, is this simulation, is this a simulation and is it breaking? Because I'm pretty sure it is. Social repose, please stop. I am begging you, man. But that is the end of the video. Please get this video to 100,000 likes. That is such a ridiculous goal and we will not hit that, but I very much appreciate it. And also, go comment your thoughts below. Please, let's start a conversation. Let's talk about this. What do you think of social repose? Did I miss something out which you want me to talk about? Let me know in the comment section. And also, please go follow my Twitter account at inaba69 and Instagram at inaba. The links are in the description. Thank you for dealing with the time I've been away for. It seems like I've been away for two months, when in reality it's been about eight. Eight days. But thank you so much, people, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.